Hi, I'm Michael Paddock, CEO of Grants Office. I'm going to share with you 10 tips for getting more grant funding, hopefully making your grant applications more competitive. These we've compiled over 18 years of Grants Office being around, things we've done right, things we've done wrong and hopefully learned from, and these will hopefully make you more successful at get, getting funding right out of the gate. The first tip is learn as much as possible about each grant to which you intend to apply. Each grant has a kind of personality. And by that, I mean characteristics that are common to all funded projects. And it may not be clear from the guidance exactly what those characteristics are. So it's important to get to know what the grant is funding from a practical standpoint in order to make sure that your project includes those characteristics and is as close as possible to the types of projects that are being funded. Second tip is involve others in your project. Collaboration is increasingly important and being required by more and more funding opportunities but you want to make sure that everyone who's involved in your project has a role in the project and that they understand what that role is and it's relevant to the outcomes of the project. Um, you may be collaborating on a transportation grant. You may be collaborating on a grant program for uh, reducing certain types of criminal activity on college campuses. So collaboration is inherent in a lot of different grant opportunities, um, but you want to make sure that everyone who's involved has a relevant role to play. Third is, Customize each proposal to the specific requirements of the funder. Don't try to take a shotgun approach and spin out the same basic narrative to a wide range of different funding opportunities. They all have specific things they're interested in and you want to make sure that each proposal is customized to those specific requirements and addresses their specific objectives for their grant program. Number four is get reviewers comments for non-winning proposals and use their feedback in future proposals. Any grant application can be rejected. It happens when you're you know, going after grants, it can happen. Uh, and you may find yourself in a situation where you've submitted a grant application that just didn't get funded. It's important to get the reviewer's comments. Most agencies are pretty good about giving you the reviewer's comments back. Get those reviewer's comments and integrate their comments, which are a relevant, uh, direct response to the proposal that you submitted based on the scoring criteria that they're actually using at the funder, integrate those comments into your proposal and resubmit the next time around, you'll have a much better chance of getting funded the next time. Number five is include only support letters that demonstrate a real commitment on the part of the sender. You know, over the years we've seen a lot of different support letters that come through. Elected officials are popular submitters of support letters, and a lot of times they'll say, we love the project, we think it's terrific, it's gonna do wonderful things for our community, but it doesn't really say uh, what the submitter of the letter is planning on doing. You wanna make sure that every support letter that you submit with your application articulates that the person who's sending it understands that they have a role in the project and that they're committed to doing it if the project is funded. Like pieces of a puzzle, all of those support letters can come together to show how the collaborators are working together to advance the objectives of the project. So make sure the support letters reflect that. Number six is make grant seeking part of your agency's strategy. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. In, any grant can get rejected, in some cases for reasons that have nothing to do with your application. There may have just been too many high scoring applications from organizations like yours in the geographic region around you. So uh, a grant can get rejected. Don't put all your eggs in one single grant application. Try to uh, make grant seeking an overall part of your agency strategy, an ongoing strategy that's gonna produce results on an ongoing basis and a reliable stream of revenue for you going forward. Number seven, be specific in your budget. Most funders don't restrict the lengths of budget narratives because they wanna know as much as they can about what you're planning on spending the money on. In some cases, it may be part of your proposal score. In some cases, it may just be part of the application requirements. But in every case, funders do want to know what you're planning on spending the money on. So be as specific as you can in that respect. Number eight is don't include materials other than those that are specifically requested by the funder. You know, your uh, chief nephew may have done a great job making a video about your community project and it may be a compelling video and it may be really worthwhile. But if the funder's uh, application guidelines don't allow for the submission of a video, you'll have to leave it out. You can reference it in your narrative, but you'll have to leave it out. Uh, best case scenario, it'll just get ignored by the reviewers. 
Worst case scenario is it could actually result in your proposal getting rejected without review, which is really the worst thing that can happen to a grant application because then not only do you not have the money, but you also don't have the reviewer's comments to improve your proposal for the next time around. Number nine, have an outsider edit your proposal before you submit it. It's a great idea to have someone who's not involved in the project and maybe not even involved in the business of law enforcement, someone who's completely outside, review your proposal to make sure that you're making clear uh, connections between your project and the objectives that you're trying to achieve. You're not using unexplained acronyms or jargon or things that could be off-putting to a reviewer because reviewers come from a wide range of backgrounds and they may not have the same level of comfort with some of the acronyms and jargon that most law enforcement agencies are comfortable with. And then lastly, very simply, follow directions. We hear from funders that about 30% of applicants don't follow the basic directions that are provided and their applications get rejected without review. It's easy for the funders, cuts down on their workload, but from your standpoint, you've put a lot of work, time, effort, money, resources into developing this grant proposal and you don't want it just to get thrown out because of some small direction that you fail to follow. So it's important to understand what all of the application requirements are. What is the funder looking for in a completed application? What does a completed application look like in terms of structure, in terms of what you're talking about, as well as even in terms of the format of the application itself? Follow all the directions. You can put yourself ahead of 30% of the applicants just by following the basic directions that are provided. And those are 10 tips to help make you more successful at getting grants.